have, I guess, husband number seven? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so let's welcome him as he comes. You've got to protect me from... Uh... <laughs> we will! <laughs> this is called Ghosts are now showing up. As we have our usual early morning fight, our only row over who will get the breakfast, bump into each other's efforts to be there first, I bear hug you, which always undoes, unclips your brazier, although I didn't intend it to. You always do that. How do you do that? I only smile and chuff at my supposed expertise. Bluff. Years of dedication. Practice. Practice. The kiss is warm and lasts forever. Was that really you? Was that really us? I wonder as I pass your window, a stranger now, and catch a glimpse of two ghosts who might be us, reenacting the moment as it is, held in time, rerun by the cinema of memory. Rerun by the cinema of memory. Thank you. <clears throat> this is called uh, Most of the Time. I hid you away in an attic, a photograph amongst photographs, in an album amongst albums, in a trunk visited only by cobwebs and the squeaks of mice. I had remembered to forget you, forgotten to remember you, but the heart trap of memory goes snap, and I am again an Alice in her own tears, always drowning in the same room, feeding my ghost to the sun as eagerly it laps them up. And this is called Stealing Time from the Universe. It's from memory of my mother. <clears throat> the clocks go forward by an hour. We steal time from the universe. Unaware as yet, we will have to give it back. Our faces hang like masks, mirrored in the dark hospital window. Our own ghosts visiting this night. I watch myself as if seeing someone from another world who is and isn't me. Outside, a bird unknown to us creates the dawn, whistling like a janitor, opening up the early morning. We gain this extra hour, this added time. The clock cut, napping, still living in the not so long ago. My mother stepping into her future that is now her past. The extra hour like a useless bauble, falling out of her hand. That's the most only one. This is called Her Eyes Are Thirsty. I let the dead borrow my eyes so that they can see the fingers of fog fondle each tombstone and cross as a blind woman fingers her rosary. I see them look for a land that is gone, farm and field washed away, eaten by the hungry sea over the years they have slept, so that houses that were homes no longer even exist, and where they played as boys and girls is now nothing but empty air, the living now more ghosts than they. They hem me back my eyes, eyes full of tears that cannot cry. A new moon sh shines down upon a badger, making its way across a backyard. A dustbin lid still wobbling to a stop as a bedroom window curses and lights up. Thank you. Thank you, Donald.